Hey, you keep mentioning you don't know how Tumblr works. I'd be perfectly happy to lie to you if you want to know more. Uh, okay, what's the funniest lie you have about how Tumblr works? Well, you can find posts by searching for them with the search bar. <laughs> I just found out bunnies wag their tails when they're excited, just like dogs. Uh, from the moon? Impact crater? Oh my god, Andy. Sienna's real. Drake? Josh? Where's the body of Christ? Glowing hot metal is such a touchable shade of orange. I'm a welder, and this, let me tell you, this does not go away if you're around a lot of hot metal. It's actually worse. Sometimes Google image search gives you an unrelated photo that was better than what you were looking for in the first place. Look at that majestic man. Ugh, why are you in the girls? Have you seen them? Studies have found including eyes on signs or walls significantly deters nearby crime. That would deter nearby anything. The mosaic sees your sins. Turning on hot water in my tub and boiling myself like a lobster to rid myself of the pains. Ugh. Turn me into soup. Doomed by the narrative, haunted by the narrative, and a secret third thing. Narrating the narrative. Cusco? You are the only person I respect. Hey, yeah, your boyfriend drank an entire cooler full of monster energy drinks. Yeah, his name's Kyle now. Punched a hole in our drywall. Yeah, he's making you pay for the damages. Sorry. I have no idea why it's my go-to voice for those bits. He ate all the golf balls. Absolute mongrel. Feed him more. Pee-pee poo-poo. Somebody has spent their real life money to blaze this. Real life money. Andy, is this your secret account? Hey, just so you know, OP of that post you reblog, let the dogs out. Who? 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 I go to the Louvre. I'm sorry, I mean Louvre. And step in front of the Mona Lisa. I open my notes app and draw a stick figure with a single line for hair. I am escorted out by security. Probably bad RPG ideas. On a critical success at a perception check, you see all. I miss my sentinel shield. Of course it goes without saying that I am hopelessly dependent on the ingot. Look at it. Motherfucker weekend's only two days long. Do you really think that's enough to recover from the horrors of the work week? Really? Gets excited about the story I'm about to act out in my head before I sleep. Oh, it's gonna be good. I'm on some kind of gay-ass journey. Comments? Name the show. I present Frog. Very round and happy. Ten out of ten. You know, every culture has their ethnic donut, and every culture has their ethnic dumpling. Humans be frying dough. Every culture also makes a sword. If they got metal, they make a sword. If they don't have metal, they take obsidian or shark teeth or whatever it is they've got... And they make that into a sword. Coincidence? I think not. Two constants in all civilizations. Tasty fried food. And danger murder sticks. Calling the police is so five years ago. Strike true fear into the hearts of criminals by saying you're gonna tell their mothers. No, please don't. Don't date someone who doesn't put the grocery cart back in the cart return. It's called creating jobs. Actually, it's called not being rude and making someone's job easier. Pours box of cornflakes directly on the floor in aisle seven. It's called creating jobs, sweetie. I made my first Photoshop thing. I love it. Never have I seen anything that more perfectly encapsulates the personality of a beta fish. I think the university course database should have a filter to only show classes taught by extremely old people who are insane. Professors of a tenure. Got it. All body is body horror because having a body is scary. All psychology is psychological horror because thinking is scary. All survival is survival horror because being alive is scary. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I want to watch this show slash movie, read this book, listen to this podcast, but I must be in the right mindset and the exact headspace to begin or I just can't. All right. Name it. Today I learned blind people have a hard time drawing because they interpret the world as three-dimensional and struggle to portray it as two-dimensional. And here I am, an idiot, thinking it's because they can't see.
Let's see, things that are covered by your wizard insurance. Let's see here. Hmm, top surgery, bottom surgery, witch encounters, one per century, killed by Greg. Ooh, middle surgery, that's a new one. Putting a glue trap under my fridge to lure out my blorbos. Come on out, you little snot bags. Find out your gay name. Your first name plus gets down on one knee. My last name. My favorite thing about Sweeney Todd is that Sweeney gets into the killing and baking people business because he's a deeply broken man destroyed by an unjust and corrupt system that cost him his freedom and family and has been driven mad by revenge. And Mrs. Lovett does it because something wrong with her. The trope where a character overhears something out of context and assumes the worst is usually annoying and bad, but I think it works really well in Shrek. We, the audience, know that Fiona is talking about herself. But regardless, she's calling herself these terrible things because she is an ogre. If Fiona is these things because she is an ogre, what does that make Shrek? If Fiona says no one could love her because she's an ogre, she is saying that Shrek is also unlovable whether she wants to or not. In my opinion, the scene is a really good portrayal of how when you talk poorly of yourself or others for having a trait, you're also talking about every other person who shares that trait. Even if you love them or think what you're saying doesn't apply to them. Not going to lie, I saw the word Shrek and never expected this to be a deep post. On the Being Deep About Shrek website, Give your bunnies a smooch on the snoop for me today. Please. I don't have a bunny. You guys like dice? How about a one and three quarter pound dice forged out of solid steel? Roll for damage. Throw for damage. To put it how my friend Keston said best, there's no table that will survive that roll. Writers will be like, here's my current work in progress. Can't wait to share more. And then you never hear about it again. Uh, worst. Imagine a world where the oxygen density of the atmosphere is higher, and you can have a bee that is cat-sized, and you can pet your bee like a cat. <laughs> that would be nice. Why do I feel the urge to make another teleporter, but this time I teleport to the past? Have you considered instead teleporting bread? Yeah, it did not go well. We need to talk about this. Who is he? Is he okay? Who's his friend? Is his friend okay? I swear if his friend is not okay, so help me! I love you, media without romance. And I especially love you, character-centric media that explores the bonds between characters but still has no romance. May I offer you Hollowed Bonds by Andy. Andy, plug it now. Do it. Timepiece with the fewest moving parts, Sundial. Timepiece with the most moving parts. Hourglass. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, what? Perceive the tantrum hole. Uh, I think you mean the waste pipe for the cream cheese frosting factory? No, that's a goose that is definitely venting into the void. <coughs> Guy who just had like three weeks to do several things and didn't do them. Boy, I need a week off. <sighs> Mood. What's the trope name for when someone finds out they're the chosen one and is like, no thank you, and goes and does something else? Common sense. Gifted kid burnout. Yeah, the refusal of the call is the actual trope name, usually followed by the tropes of the call knows where you live and you can't fight fate. The call is trying to contact you about your destiny's extended warranty. <laughs> Trades my imperfect flesh for the immortality of the machine. You know, re-avengeance should have ended that way. We need bear girls. And I don't mean skinny, cutesy teddy bear girls. We need fat Bear women who catch salmon in their jowls and eat cigarettes like that Polish bear from WW2. We need built bear girls that climb trees and terrorize picnics. Andy, just put up your favorite sample of this character, please. So let's get ready to crumble. God, I hope she steps on me. Person who is chronically outside. They see discourse and just go, who? Man, this is just like when two sparrows want the same sunflower seed. I'm sorry, did you mean wander? Need a full body massage, a margarita, 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, a plate of brownies, at least an hour in a jacuzzi, and $20,000 cash. The mouse after you give him a cookie. Due to not wanting to, I will not. Thanks. The only people who get upset when you set boundaries are the ones who benefited from you having none. That's why they perceive it as a personal attack. Because your boundary enroaches on space they were used to owning. Yours. It did psychic damage to me, seeing both Spider-Verse and Barbie trending at the same time. The girlies. The girlies have been fed. 
Look out, they're frothing today. Someone who doesn't watch Markiplier, explain this picture. Mankind attempted to invent a combustible banana, but he got sad about the results. You know what? Sorry, Mark, that's what happened now. Why is it so easy to get a headache? Like, I'm just trying to do my work and enjoy my time, but then my brain decides, no, nah, you're not allowed to, and I'm going to make it extremely painful for you to exist for the next few hours. <laughs> Love is in the air. Wrong! Flaming skull! <laughs> is there a support group for people who wake up on time but lay in the bed until it makes them late? Yeah, literally everybody. Everyone has a ship that's just... They're perfect. They hate each other. They're married. They haven't spoken in 15 years. They have date nights three times a week. They're divorced. They're pining. It's unrequited. It's requited. They're star-crossed. They're meant to be. They're doomed by the narrative. They love each other. They never held hands. They won't stop making out of parties. They can't look each other in the eye. Man, I forgot ships have, like, multiple genres. My little brother came into my room and told me that there was water all over the bathroom floor, so I got up and grabbed a towel and ran into the bathroom to find all of my water energy Pokemon cards brawled on the floor. This kid is five fucking years old, and he got me. <laughs> That's really funny. Mm, some people on this site aren't even funny. They just have funny followers who make comedic additions to their otherwise bland text posts. Well, I'm glad you're self-aware. Sorry for sending my friends the Wikipedia page for the death penalty whenever they say something ungodly. Being the family's assigned it person is fun because everyone gets annoyed when you don't know what to do. Also, they don't try to do or teach themselves anything because they can just get you to do it for them. And it's such a chore to put on the Pennywise makeup every day too, like, ugh. Oh, you meant IT. Whoever has my voodoo doll, please take that bitch to the gym. Thank you. Child gates are the equivalent of blocked off areas in video games due to your character's level. What's it mean that my nephew just fucking bowls over them with his massive baby body? Speed run strats. Oh god, oh god, I can hear it. Andy, watch out, it's the speed run baby! I simply vibe until my brain just attacks me like, Hey, you should eat raw hot dog, trademark. And then I do. Because who am I to resist temptation? Two guys having a conversation about their friend who uses any pronouns, but they're clearly trying to outdo each other in obscurity with each pronoun used. I'm going to make my character suffer. Well, I'm going to go make my character have a nice day. They're going to go hang out with their friend. We'll never betray them nor dump them at the very first misunderstanding. Hmm? Baby, I've got half-finished whips you couldn't even imagine. I guess neither could you, OP. Damn. We should start doing ancient alien conspiracies, but for buildings that aren't even that old or impressive. No human could make an apartment this complex. I think it would be very funny for like characters in a fantasy setting to walk into a pub and try to order and the bartender just sighs and goes, Ugh, species and age, while pulling out a massive book holding the drinking age for every type of species capable of purchasing alcohol. That's brilliant. Dear lesbian at the pride night at the emo club, thank you for the kiss. Sorry, I'm a boy. OP might want to bookmark this post in case they come back in three years to tell us all they're transgender. Funniest reply ever, I am transgender. If anyone gets into my computer and starts looking at what I named my drawings and the folders in them, they're either going to think I'm a comedy genius or in desperate need of therapy. Both. Behold, flat bin. Love them. I'm trying to clean, but he wants to come with me all the time, so I put him in the basket so I carry him more easily, and he's very happy about it. Oh my god, look at this baby. Unlikes and relikes a post, so it's further up in my likes so I can find it again. Still never goes back to my likes to look at these posts ever again. Unlikes and relikes a post so the person I saw it from still gets the sense of knowing I liked it. Wow. Brain. Hey, you know how you hate your artwork? Yeah. What if I told you that's interfering with your capacity to improve? Oh no. In case this wasn't clear enough, what I'm saying is, is that hating your artwork will get in the way of your improvement. You will get in your own way if you hate your work. You don't even have to like your work. You just have to find one thing in it that you sort of tolerate and can see hope in. Hating your entire work will not motivate you to spite improve in the long run. It'll just discourage you. Trust me. I ship male-female ships, but in an incredibly bisexual way. 
I've been trying to not call people mean names when I get into arguments, so now my default when I get a little frustrated is to say babe, which, as you might understand, is not particularly conducive to customer service. Had a guy piss me off so badly yesterday I called him baby girl. For reference, I am a scrawny 19-year-old girl wearing too much eyeliner, and he was a 40-year-old man in American flag Carhartt jacket. We were both so surprised the disagreement just ended right there. I think love is when I put myself to bed even when I'm tired and I carry myself up the stairs even though my knees ache. I think love is when I buy myself a coffee when I'm broke, and I know that I'll get myself back later. And I think love is letting myself love someone even though I am so scared. Love is a heavy thing that carries you as much as you carry it. Nothing to add to this, you said it all. Can't explain why toe walking is so compelling to me but it has something to do with the sensory input and the sheer delight of inertia and weight and bounce, 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 I think. Believe me, I should not be trusted with the ability to make tasty sweet food. If I wasn't physically restrained from doing so, I would make several liters of milkshakes and chug it in one sitting. Luckily for everyone around me, my household is poor. I will not explode for milkshake yet. Yet. To be fair, their username is, once again, Massive Milk Picks. D&D be like, the characters, under no circumstances do I want to discuss my past, my trauma, my mental state, or any other personal issues. The players, somebody please interrogate my child. Oh, you're sex positive? Well, I'm sex negative. We try to hold hands and we both vanish from existence. An earth shattering explosion rending the ground where we stood seconds before. Me when I see a hilariously bad video that I want to send to my friend instantly, knowing that it's bad enough to make them want to hire a deep web hitman to hit me. <laughs> when my son turned 10, he started talking about wanting to learn to code. I hope Tumblr also decides this now that it has turned 10. 911, I'd like to report a murder. My guy was literally on his way to my house with my food. Then, five minutes away, he took another order and is now on the other side of the city. What the hell? Ah, uh, ADHD delivery driver. I'm going to defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. Maybe the real treasure was this gun I found along the way. Maybe. You know, there are some people out there that don't need to touch grass, but instead need to touch an entire fucking forest! Hey, uh, uh, no, McDouble, McDouble. What's up with the little blur of ketchup there? Who, who thought that was cute? It's bothering me. Get rid of it. Andy, please get rid of it. You have mentally Illinois. I diagnose you with Chicago. And I'm about to make all the citizens of Chicago so angry. <sighs> Illinois. Why is it thinking thoughts that upset it? I don't know, little weird cat. I just don't know. If I wanted to reach my new low point, I could make Tumblr posts and read them for a video. But who would be so silly as to take a post someone else made and read them for content? Could be worse. Could it be the person intentionally writing things to bait said post reading? You know, just saying. I don't need new shoes. I need new feet. Because the ones I currently have start hurting after two minutes of walking. I hate it. One time I dreamt there was an official crossover between Ultra Kill and the Mandela Catalog. It was a dating simulator. My god. Shout out to anthropomorphic snakes in animated movies doing poses that would normally require arms or creatively using their coils as arms instead. Gotta be one of my fave agendas. This is what it's all about. Hey, emojis can't do this. Behold, March Simpson. Mm. Shout out to the time my mom was hammered and I heard her trying to tell my dad that she murdered her first husband years ago and my dad very patiently said, I saw Glenn in an elevator last week. Good job, dad. I want so badly to become someone's blobo. Imagine being the little guy in someone's head that they spin at terrifying speeds. Why not me? You want my advice? Log off Tumblr and make yourself a nice grilled cheese. Using good crusty bread with half cheddar and half parmesan cheese. The best possible soup for dipping it into is Campbell's tomato soup. The kind that comes in a little can that you mix with water. Only instead use milk. God, tag your not family friendly content. You know your anxiety is a problem when you get very stressed about asking someone to clarify the first answer because you didn't understand it the first time. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the glue trap. I won't be. 
If anyone needs cough loop, just cover the earth in glue traps except for one spot. Terrible Pokemon evolution method ideas. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the status condition it has when it levels up. A Pokemon that only evolve if you have more than one million Poke Dollars. A Pokemon that evolves after getting frustrated that you keep faking playing catch with it in Pokemon Camp. A Pokemon that only evolve if it hates every Pokemon in your party. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the clothes your character is wearing at that moment. A Pokemon that only evolve if there's a Pokemon who has a type advantage to it in your party. A Pokemon that evolves if you catch it in a Premier Ball. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the number of badges you have. Ooh. A Pokemon that only evolve if one of your other Pokemon has the same nature plus a move as it has. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on if you gave it a cute nickname or a scary nickname. A Pokemon that only evolve if you keep it in your box long enough, then put it in your party at least one week. A Pokemon that only evolve when there's at least two fainted Pokemon in your party. And finally... A Pokemon whose evolution depends on where you caught it and where you were when you hatched its egg. Are you just trying to, like, destroy Game Freak's code here? It's already a giant pile of spaghetti. What are you trying to do? Add some more meatballs into it? Do you think Icarus would be into wax play or would that be a safe word zone because of trauma? You don't get quality content like this on other sites. Everybody likes going down. Stop! You know a character has really hit their gender out of the park when they're popularly headcanoned as trans mask and trans femme. I know I'm about to target a very specific audience here, but I have seen it. I am looking directly at you, Genshin Impact Twitter, and your Al Hathen content. Good job. Every time my boyfriend says, for the time being, I respond with, for the time being. And then we say, all hail, hail the, the time being. being. And carry on the conversation like nothing happened. Ah, nature's healing. I say, donning my hazardous suit to roam the bomb-torn wastelands as I see a 12-inch cockroach skitter across the camera. Every day, my soul is crushed by emails, and every time I kiss, I swear I can fly. Can't you hear my heart beat fast as per my email from the past? Need you by my side. -na 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 -na. One time I dreamt the Muppets were doing an adaptation of The Legend of Zelda and Miss Piggy was mad she had to play Ganon. But it works so well. Plus, on top of that, you get memes of Ganon going, Din for you. You ever get no sleep and the next day your body functions like the Tumblr app? Me, we need to study. Brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoops, juicy, we made a big old... <laughs> Is everyone reblogging this okay? God put me on this world and said, let this dumbass roam. We are all God's Roombas that he let loose. Some of us he gave knives. I haven't used my iPod in several years, but since my phone broke, I'm using it for music. Got it hooked up to my Bluetooth speaker, which politely says, Battery high. Connected to Lars' iPhone. Generally. So I really wasn't thinking about it and absolutely wasn't expecting it to say, Battery high. Connected to a disgusting little man. Because I had forgotten what I named my iPod and it quite literally bowled me completely over. I hate Shark Slander. They're literally just sitting there in their own living room. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on, just leave him be. Big shout out to Baked Potatoes. Well, thank you. I got high and thought this was directed at me and that Baked Potatoes was my new nickname. I'm, I'm sorry. Writing prompt. A medical robot on a long space flight has tried everything. Makeshift defibrillators, CPR, injecting adrenaline, but it's no use. The crew have died. As a last ditch effort, the robot downloads all information on necromancy. Aw, oh, that's a sheep, baby. A motherfucking sheep!